What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to multiply polynomials, right? And I'm going to go over a bunch of different examples here. Uh, well, here are the four examples we're going to cover. Uh, so we have a monomial, a trinomial, a binomial with a trinomial, uh, three binomials, and two trinomials, right? So hopefully you see what you need. I'm going to put timestamps down below. A bit otherwise, let's just start with the first problem right here. All right, so here we have a 7x cubed times uh, in parentheses, 5x squared plus 3x minus 1, all right? So in order to multiply uh, just a single term by uh, something that's inside of a set of parentheses here, we can just distribute, right? So first we can distribute 7x cubed times 5x squared, all right? In order to do that, you want to just multiply the numbers together first, right? So 7 times 5, that's equal to 35. And then here we have x cubed times x squared, right? Whenever you're multiplying exponents together, you simply add them together, okay? So here, x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. All right, so then 7x cubed times 3x, that's going to be equal to, let's see, uh, they're both positive, right? So plus uh, 21, and then again, just adding the exponents together. This x basically has a 1 on it, right? So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, so x to the fourth. And then the last term, 7x cubed minus 1, or multiplied by negative 1, is equal to negative 7x cubed. Okay, cool. And then the last thing is just combining like terms. Well, here all the exponents are different, right? So there's nothing to combine here. So this would be your final answer. So 35x to the fifth plus 21x to the fourth minus 7x cubed. Okay, next we have a binomial times a trinomial, but it's basically the same idea. So you're just going to take this and distribute it into this set of parentheses over here. All right, so we're going to multiply this binomial times each of these three terms, okay? Uh, so the first term we're gonna multiply by is 5x squared, all right? So let's just write this one first. So we're gonna write 5x squared times our binomial here. So negative 2x plus three, okay? Next term is negative 4x. So we're gonna write negative 4x times our binomial, which again is negative 2x plus three. And then the last term over here is positive 6, right? So plus 6. And then our binomial one last time is negative 2x plus 3. Okay, and sorry, I'm a little OCD, so I just want to center that a little bit. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is just multiply these two together. So again, you can just distribute this into the set of parentheses over here. So first of all, 5x squared times negative 2x, right? So 5 times negative 2, that's equal to negative 10. And then x squared times just x, or basically x to the first. Remember, just add the exponents together, so that's x cubed, right? And then the next one would be 5x squared times positive 3. So that would be equal to, well, they're both positive, right? So plus 15 and x squared, right? Because we don't have any x's right here. Okay, cool. Next one is, uh, first of all, negative 4x times our first term right here is uh, positive 8 x squared, right? And then negative 4x times positive 3 is equal to negative 12x. And we're done with those. And then lastly over here, we have positive 6 times negative 2x. So that's going to be equal to negative 12x, right? So minus 12x. And lastly, 6 times 3 is 18. So plus 18. Okay, cool. So now that we multiplied it out, again, we want to just see if we can combine like terms. Uh, so here we have an x cubed. Uh, we don't have any other cubic terms. So this one's going to be by itself like that, just a loner. And then here we can combine some like terms, right? So 15x squared plus 8x squared is equal to 23x squared, right? So plus 23x squared. Uh, we can also combine these. Negative uh, 12x minus 12x is negative 24 x and lastly we have our plus 18 all right everything's combined so there's your final answer all right here's a bigger guy so uh here we have two trinomials right 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 times uh, x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 4x okay but the idea remains the same you just want to take uh well in this case they both have three terms right so it doesn't really matter which way you go uh, you just want to multiply a whole set of parentheses by each term, one at a time, okay? So let's start with this one over here. So let's write, and I'm going to have to come out here. So let's say 
4x squared, and then we're going to multiply it by this whole set of parentheses right here. So x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 4x, all right? Our next term over here is negative 8x, right? So minus 8x, and again, uh, our trinomial right there is x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 4x. And then our last term is minus 2, right? So negative 2 times our trinomial, x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 4x. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is just take the term out here and distribute it, distribute it into the set of parentheses, right? So first of all, uh, 4x squared times x to the fourth, that's going to be equal to 4x to the sixth, right? Just add those together. And then the next term, uh, 4x squared times 3x squared is equal to positive 12x to the fourth. And then lastly, 4x squared times uh, 4x, that's positive 16 x cubed. Okay, and now our next set of parentheses, negative 8x uh, times x to the fourth is negative 8x to the fifth, right? So minus 8x to the fifth. And then negative 8x times positive 3x squared is negative 24x cubed. And then this one right here is negative uh, minus 32x squared. Okay, and then our last set right here, uh, negative 2 times x to the 4th is just negative 2x to the 4th. Then we have negative 2 times positive 3x squared, so that's minus 6x squared. And then lastly, negative 2 times positive 4x is negative 8x. Okay, cool. So now that we multiplied everything out, again, the last thing is just combining like terms, right? So... We always want to write our biggest exponent first, right? So that'd be this one right here, 4x to the 6th. So we're going to write 4x to the 6th. Uh, so that one's done. There's no other 6s that I see, so let's move on to 5. So there's a 5 right here. So negative 8x to the 5th, right? Minus 8x to the 5th. Uh, that's the only 5. Uh, let's see, 4s. We have a 4 over here, right? So positive 12x to the 4th and negative 2x to the 4th. So 12 minus 2 is equal to 10. So this is going to be positive 10x to the fourth. So we're done with those. Uh, threes, let's see, we have this one right here and this one. So positive 16 and minus 24, so that's equal to negative 8, right? So minus 8x cubed, all right, done with those. And uh, squareds, right? those two right there. So negative 32 and negative 6, that's equal to negative 38, right? So minus 38x squared. So we're done with those. And lastly, we have just this one right here, right? Minus 8x, All right? So there's nothing left to combine, so that would be your final answer right there. All right, last one here. So this is three binomials multiplied together, right? So x minus 1 times x plus 4 times x plus 5. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just multiply two of these together. Uh, so there's a couple different ways, right? You could distribute it like we've been, or you could also FOIL in this case. So remember, first, outer, inner, last, right? So first, uh, so these are the two I'm going to multiply together, this one and this one. So if we go first, that's going to be x squared outer uh, positive 4x and then inner negative 1 times x is minus x and then last uh, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Okay and then we're still multiplying by this guy over here the x plus 5 right. Uh, first let's simplify this really quick so here we have x squared and then uh, 4x minus x is equal to positive 3x right and then minus 4 and times this binomial out here. Okay, so hopefully this looks a little bit familiar because we just did one of these, right? So a, a trinomial times a binomial. So again, I'm just going to break out all my terms over here and multiply it by the binomial, right? So first we have x squared, right? So x squared times our binomial is x plus 5. And then we have positive 3x times x plus 5 and then minus 4 times x plus 5. Okay, and I'm sorry, I need to center this just a little bit, 
No, it's not perfect. All right, and then the last thing again is just distributing, or almost the last thing is just distributing, right? So here, x squared times x, that's equal to x cubed. And then x squared times 5 is equal to positive 5x squared. And then here, uh, positive 3x times x, that's positive 3x squared. And then right here, uh, we have positive 15x, right, plus 15x. And then this last one over here, negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Okay, now the last thing here is just combining like terms, right? So here we have x cubed, that seems to be the only one. Uh, so that's done. Uh, here we have positive 5x squared and positive 3x squared, so that's positive 8x squared, so plus 8x squared. Here is positive 15 minus 4, which is equal to positive 11, right? So positive 11x and then minus 20. All right, nothing left to combine, so there's your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.